All right, and we're back, heading through the tunnel. Oh, I feel, still think we have some undead in here. Oh, no, kobolds. That's okay. Oh, shaman. Shaman. Oh. Must be the source of all the undead. There we go. There's a necromancer in here. So once you kill those kobolds, you can break down that door, come in here and kill the necromancer and his undead minions. Collectibles if you like them. We should be able to go back to our other sword now and get the chest here. Alright, so we came through that tunnel. We want to continue through this direction. Another room with some breakables, some crates, barrels, and of course a drop. So climb down the ladder or drop down. Get your breakables. Where are we with that vandal bonus? Okay. Alright. Next room. Crate, barrel, crate. Two paths, forward and right. Go forward, because it should just be a small room with some breakables in it. Yeah. And an alchemy table if you're doing collectibles. So go ahead and get those, and then head yourself. Which direction is this? East? Let's see. Whoa. Corrosion Scepter of Necromancy Focus. I guess I'll pick that up. Doesn't hurt to pick things up even if you're just going to sell them. Alright, so you get locked in this room. And then you got to kill the two troglodytes that appear. Unfortunately, this is a timed room. Which means even if you kill those guys in the first second they appear, you're still going to have to wait a couple seconds before the doors open. Not too long, though. Alright, so now we are entering into the next section with this valve. Opens up into a rather spacious room. You might actually recognize this map tile from the waterworks. There are little bridges spanning that, and then there's also some troglodyte guards over here. You can see that uh, in order to get through that door, we're going to need to find two switches or levers to activate those. I'm just going to go ahead and kill all the troglodytes and break everything first. Some dragon shard fragments. Okay. Here's another door, which I believe leads to the third shrine. Let me check. Yeah, third shrine. So in order to get those switches, we're actually going to have to go down into the water here. There's a ladder to get up or down. Um, jump down there. You're going to have to swim if you look over this direction you can swim underneath here a little tunnel area there's a secret door I'm not sure if you can actually search in the water I guess we can there it is and a trap over here just be aware of that there's nothing really there except for ah, get back out of that trap Nothing really there except for a collectible thing and a trap that just knocked us senseless there for a second. Anyway, get to the very end. There's a valve and it actually activates both of those. Alright, heading back now. Avoid that trap. And up we go. Alright, come on, Hireling. Alright. Oh, 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 don't fall. Dang it. Dang it. Love it when that happens. Alright, climb up. 
all the way around the pillar. Now we continue forward through that door. Now, immediately on the other side of this door, however, are some traps, I believe. So be careful. Yep, you can detect them. I don't know if you can search them out so you can see what they are. No, I think that they're sprays of some kind. Oh, nope, spikes. Okay, spikes aren't too bad though. If you wait till the spikes are up, you can actually just run through them. And another set of spikes over here. Alright, those ones actually hit me. That's okay. I'll call my hireling because he should come to me. Alright, let's have you summon up your dog. Why not? Alright, once we're at this point, you can see that this is a cavern. So this is more of a natural cavern than these constructed ones. Lots of breakables here before we get to those mushrooms though. So break everything. And then you can either hop right down if you have feather fall or you can kind of make your way around the outside from these mushrooms like that. This middle level here will have a widow and a little brown spider that you can kill. Collectible if you're going after those. And then some more mushrooms that you want to hop between with another widow at the bottom. So now we're going to continue down this path here, killing our spiders as we go. And this is going to lead us towards our next section, our next part of the quest chain. Which is, I think, the Caverns of Shog. The echo of dripping water against rock betrays a flooded section of cave up ahead. Oh no, a flooded section of cave. Okay, kill a glass spider. Oh, Black Widow shooting stuff at us. Okay. Continue. Alright, so this is a drop. You cannot get back up if you choose to go down. But then again, so are those mushrooms that we passed earlier. Alright, so this is going to lead us into the Caverns of Shog. If we want to just continue going through the quest, you're going to want to kill these guys and then just keep on going. If not, when you get to the end, you can recall once the quest is finished. And then you'll be able to, um, when you come back in from the quest entrance, you'll actually be able to go right to the next quest. You won't have to rerun this one. The Gate Warden is kind of a pushover. Um, you can drop down here. There is a chest you can get. Be careful not to drop down all the way if you can help it. There's a ladder over here you can use if you want to. Otherwise, you can jump down to this area because there's a chest down here. So, grab whatever you can from that chest. And then make your way back up via the mushrooms and the ladder. Alright. So let's go over here. And the end of the quest should be right down this tunnel. There's another chest which we can get here. And that is the end of the quest. If we go up here, this takes us to the Cavern of Shog and it completes the quest. So, like I said, you now have two choices. If you are just going on your own and you want to just keep going, 
then you can just click here and it will take you directly to the next quest. It's a level 4 quest though, so be aware of that. Um, if you don't want to proceed immediately, you can actually finish and recall out. Because we are trying to go through the quests more or less in order, um, we'll recall. I know I did the level 4s with the Waterworks quests, um, but those were kind of the end. They were level 4s. The one after that one's a level 5, so there's no point in doing the level 4 since we won't do the level 5. We'll just come back to that when we do the rest of the level 4s. So make sure that you uh, either come back and check it out when we get to the level 4s. We'll do that one probably first thing we'll do that one. Um, if not, then make sure that you um, come back and check this out when you're ready to do the entire chain all together. So now you want to leave the steam tunnels. I'm going to go ahead and kill some of these guys to get that uh, little tiny bit of XP we get for clearing these guys out. Ooh, all 54 XP. So I'll recall out of the tunnels. Well, actually, let me show you real quick. Since we recalled from that, the next time you go here, see how it's a level 4 quest. So it does save your spot. You don't have to redo the entire quest if you don't want to. So we'll go ahead and recall now. Recalling. Alright. Now we don't actually get a quest reward for doing that because we are supposed to do the entire chain together. So we are going to have to hold off on that reward. We won't get one yet. I'm going to go ahead and go in and sell some stuff though. Serving wench. That's funny. Alright. Wooden buckler. Not as good as the one I have. Longbow. Longbow 2. Devotion. Shog's Helm, we said, weren't that great. Dodge, no. Let's go ahead and sell the gems. Potion of Bark Skin. Alright, selling all that. Repairing, add all, and repair. So I believe that's. Oh, what is this? A plus 2 longsword we can't sell? Why can't we sell that? Oh yeah, we can. Why didn't it sell before? I do not know. Alright. Either way, we need to get another hireling anyways. So level 4 hirelings are still here. Pick whoever you want. I didn't mind Barak. I'm only going to get one of them out. There we go. I have my hireling there. Good. Okay, so next time we will start the catacombs quest chain because that one's almost all level 3. I think maybe the last one's level 4, but I don't even think that. I think they're all level 3s. Let's double check here if we look at our level 3s again. Let's see. That's catacombs, catacombs, tangle root, catacombs, tangle root, catacombs, catacombs, catacombs. Okay, okay, yeah. So pretty much it's all catacombs. So we've got several catacombs quests and the tangle root quest to work on. So we'll go ahead and we will start. I will do catacombs next time. Frozen there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start catacombs next time. Um, and then we'll get those last two Tangle Root quests. Um, Tangle Root's another large adventure area, so we might have to spend an episode just kind of running around out there. Um, but until then, please check back with us. Make sure you do check back when we finish the rest of that uh, Shantacore quest chain. And until then, like, subscribe, leave us some comments, let us know if there's any aspect of the game that you would like us to cover in more detail or go back over. Uh, more than happy to do that. Let us know, though, in the comments. And until next time, play games, have fun, and we'll see ya.